welcome back to my channel. This video is gonna be me trying on a full face or almost a full face of Charlotte Tilbury products. Um, I do have quite a bit of her products that I've never tried before. They're not new by any, by any means or anything like that. They're just new to me. And I do have quite a bit of like samples like foundation, uh, primer, a concealer samples and a little tiny Charlotte Tilbury powder that everybody just raves about and um, I still haven't tried. <laughs> I feel like I'm not centered. What happened here? Here we go. Am I better now? Okay. So the whole like motto of Charlotte Tilbury is like light, Hollywood, that kind of makeup and uh, I do have even one of her bags and it says give a woman the right makeup she can conquer the world so let's see are we gonna conquer the world today um, this is probably gonna be a long video for some reason I cannot get my videos to be short so it's probably gonna be a long video if you're interested grab a snack sit down give this video a like subscribe and um, I don't promise great results or anything like that, but let's just go ahead and try some of the stuff. Um, I know for a fact that, uh, no, I don't know anything for a fact. We're just going to go with it. Um, I don't know if you watched my latest Sephora haul, but I did get her uh, Glamour Muse kit. And that's kind of like why I'm like, okay, I think I have enough now to do this full face. It has an eyeshadow palette. When I swatched it, kind of sucked a little. Um, but we will see how it's gonna perform on the eyes and then I'm um, get it's gonna give me a chance to try her pillow talk lip liner her mascara um, I've tried her lipstick before and blushes and all that so we'll see how the new products are gonna be and um, I'm gonna try out the foundations um, I'm lazy and I'll be using brushes that I've never used before Maybe I've used one or two of them before, so yeah, hopefully things don't go sideways too much. Um, let's get started. Long, long intro. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, the only thing I have on my face is a moisturizer. I don't have the magic cream, so Charlotte, if you're watching, hook me up, man. Um... What did I use? I used the Watermelon Moisturizer by Glow Recipe. I love that thing and it smells so good. So because I don't have an eye primer, I'm going to be using the concealer from her. And the concealer that I have, wait, this is the face primer, not the concealer. Uh, that's a foundation. Come on, concealer. Okay. Uh, the retoucher conceal and treat stick and I have it in the shade 3 medium look how little and how cute and how wonderful um, So should I start with my face? We'll just go ahead and apply this on the eyes I would like to start with the eyes and then we'll move on to the face um, Hopefully the 3 medium is not too dark, but I did kind of self tan and My face is definitely not matching me right now. So we'll see Okay, um, this kind of feels really nice on the eyes, not very tacky, so hopefully it works really well under the eye as well. Um, I'm going to keep looking this way because I don't have a viewfinder on my camera and it likes to shut down on me um, maybe around like 11-12 minute mark of filming. I don't know, it just turns off, it stops filming and... Um, I'm not a famous YouTuber yet, so I only have one light, so I gotta keep looking to make sure that you can still see me and I'm not just washed away or anything like that. So, did that on the eyes. Um, the eyeshadow palette, like I said, uh, her luxury palette, four pan palette. Um, this is the first time I try one of her four pans. I have tried one of her like little single shadows and I was... I saw this, I bought it from her website, and when I saw the shade, I was just like blown away, like that olive golden green. And this is the eyeshadow palette that I have, totally that does not match my shirt today, so I'll probably have to change my clothes after I film this video. Yeah, we change our clothes to match uh, our makeup. So, 
I'm gonna go with this palette. Let's see, like I said, these brushes I've never used before. I've used a couple of them before, but they're the only clean brushes that I have currently, and I'm too lazy to clean my new brushes. Um, I think for the longest time, this used to be the only eyeshadow brush that I had. It came like in a Tarte palette. I think that was like 2005, 2006. It's the only brush I used to have, and I used to love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and, it's clean. It's not dirty since 2006. Um, it's clean, but I'm gonna go ahead and use it. I'm first gonna go in with that uh, deep shade, shade number four. They're like one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna go with shade number four. Um, maybe I should go with shade number two. Let's go in with the lighter one, the shade number two, the enhanced shade. I'm gonna place that in my crease. Oh, this brush is so scratchy. How did I love it before? Okay, see, here's, here's, here's the problem, um, I guess, okay, it's building up decently, oh my goodness, though, this is so scratchy, needs to be moisturized, or thrown in the trash, um, when I swatched these eyeshadows, it was like, I wouldn't want to pay $55 for this, I think it's $55, maybe it's $50, or $54, I think I'm gonna look very natural today, and look how beautiful the eye look that she has. I mean, come on, that's a beautiful eye look. Am I gonna look like that using all of these products? Maybe I should just use the purple all over my eye and call it a day. What do you think? Okay, well, ooh, it does have a mirror. I should be using this mirror, so it's easier than looking at the mirror all the way down there. I'm failing already at this, but thankfully it's not a tutorial, it's, um, it's just me trying these products. Um, mm, let's go ahead, I need to switch brushes, this is too harsh. I have this brush by EcoTools, a double-ended, one is a define and one is a shade. So I'm going to use the shade one and I'm going to dip in the purple, don't know if I picked anything up, I'm going to put that all over the lid. I'm not going like I like it to go. Can you even see that? Should I wet my brush? Let me go ahead and grab a mist so I can wet my brush. Okay, so I grabbed the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. Um, probably should pick up, I don't want to ruin my eyeshadow, so I'm going to pick up some of that purple shadow on my brush and I'm going to fix the brush. <laughs> I couldn't get it to be on the bristles. I kept spraying the air. And now I think it's too wet. Oh, okay. Ooh, there we go. Maybe. Starting to look like I got punched in the eye. There's no matte shade in here. How are you supposed to do your eyeshadow look with no matte shade? What, are, what should I do? What should I do? Let's go ahead with that scratchy brush, the other end of it. Yeah, scratch all that hard pan. Okay, now, okay, here we go. This is much better. Now, I do want to go in with that that number four, the deepest shade in the palette, and um, I have this brush by EcoTools. Again, this is a double-sided brush. I don't know if they even still make these anymore, but we're just going to pick some of that shade and then going to put it straight. Ooh, okay, here's a good color. Straight in the outer corner. And buff it into the crease. I think it's gonna tie together pretty well, or I hope. Wow, okay, this, um, this shadow is actually one of the best so far out of, well, 
<laughs> one out of three so I do have an eyeliner so we're gonna rely on that to deepen up the shade um, I want to move on to the face I do have the wonder glow instant soft focus beauty flash and I had to look this guy up this is actually a primer so let's go ahead and use that all over the face I don't know if it has a color to it a tint to it or what come on Ooh, that squirted everywhere okay Hmm, looks, ooh, okay, looks a little glowy. Feels so nice. Hmm, this is something I might consider a full size of so far. Okay, here we go. There's that. Um, the foundations, like I said, there's the Magic and then there's the Light Wonder. I have two foundations. And the Magic one is 4.5 medium. This is a flawless, long-lasting coverage. And then the Light Wonder is Youth, youth Boosting Perfect Skin Foundation. This is also in the shade 5. I looked on the Sephora's app and this one, the Light Wonder, is supposed to be like a radiant finish. They're both light coverage and this is supposed to be a matte finish. I think I might go with the matte finish just because I also want to use um, the Hollywood Flawless Filter for a Superstar Youth Glow under my foundation. So, and I have this in the shade 3, which I think is light medium. Um, I have used a sample size of this. It wasn't like this. I've used it before and I really, really liked it. So, let's see. They want to blend it with my hand, with a brush, with a beauty sponge. Maybe my hand, because I don't want my beauty sponge to absorb all that glow. Okay, here we go. Um, I think I'm glowing. I kind of look like a tin man right now. So... Let's go ahead and use the foundation. Kind of want to do all radiant. Yeah, never mind. I'm going to go for the radiant one for the Light Wonder foundation. Um, yeah, let's, let, let's see how this is going to go. I guess it also said that it's buildable. Okay, it is building. Pretty happy with that. Let's go ahead and uh, conceal. My beauty blender is sucking a lot of the product. Um, maybe because it's so like light i still feel like i have bags so let me use a little bit more i think it's set i mean it doesn't feel tacky but it doesn't feel drying under the eye um here's my worry uh the airbrush flawless finish powder that i have is in the shade 2 medium. Look how little this guy is. I still can't believe how tiny this is. Um, so it's the only powder that I have from her. And I kind of need to set. Maybe I should. Well, I do need to set my face. Feeling a little tacky still. So I'm going to use this under the eye and set my face. Again, here we go. Hopefully it's not a complete fail. Let me first make sure that I have. Oh, look, and it has a little tiny mirror. Let me make sure I have no creases under my eye before I set. So, okay, it's starting to dry. The concealer is starting to feel less tacky. Maybe I should just wait on it. 
Oh, forget it. I'm ready. And I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face. Wow, this powder is so finely milled. Whew. No wonder people love this thing. Okay, I need a little bit of a bigger brush if I can fit a little bit of a bigger brush in here. Face is set. That was tough. This was really hard to use, but I can see why people obsess about it. It's very finely milled. Um, I want to go ahead and go back to the eyes. I would like to finish the eyes and then we'll contour, highlight, and that kind of stuff. Um, in my little magic bag, I have an eyeliner. Rocking Coal Iconic Liquid Eye Pencil, and I think this is the shade Barbarella, Barbarella Brown. So I'm gonna tight line with this, and I think I'm gonna smudge it a little bit on my uh, upper lash line and the lower lash line, and then we'll go back to that eyeshadow palette, which was a fail. So let me go ahead and tight line. That eye pencil is pretty nice. Again, I'm gonna go in for that Eco Tool brush and it has like a little smudger brush on the end. So I'm just gonna smudge the. Oh crap, this sets pretty fast. Okay, give my eye a little bit more definition. I'm gonna do the other eye off camera because, well, it looks kind of weird and it takes a long time. All right, you guys, I'm back. I applied that liner in my lower lash line. I smudged it. I put a little bit on my outer V and just to give a little bit of cat eye effect. Um, what I'm gonna do, and I don't know if this is a bad idea or not, I do wanna line my upper lash line as well and then I'm gonna smudge it but with that purple shade. So let's try and do that. I just need a little bit more pop of that purple and I think maybe laying the dark brown under it will do that pretty well. Um, I have to say this eyeliner is so creamy. I'm loving it so far. And now, where's that little eyeshadow palette? Here it is. I'm gonna go in with that purple, but I'm gonna pick it up with that smudgy end. And I'm just gonna, before that sets all the way, I'm gonna try to smudge it. With the other end, I'm gonna go in with that deep shade and try to like, even out the situation over here. Oh, it looks really nice so far. I'm gonna do the same to the other eye and then we'll smudge some more shadow on the lower lash line, the other colors. The eyes that whole like no matte shade in this palette is totally throwing me off. I guess I could have used her like um, the Hollywood, uh, like the face sculpt and highlighter palette. I could have used like the bronzer shade from here in my crease. But I mean, if you're spending $55 on a four shadow pan, wouldn't you want it to have everything that you need and be able to do a whole eye look? Right? I mean, I guess it could be companion palette, but still. Um, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go in with a little bit of that purple and apply it on the lower lash line, um, just to tie the look together. And I, I told you I don't have a brow product, but I'm just gonna go ahead, brush my brows. I'm not gonna do anything with them. I'm not gonna use any other product. I'm just gonna brush those things. And I'm gonna highlight under my brow with that white or creamy shade that's in the palette. Mm, my contacts. I think it's time. I gotta pull this guy out. I, I just cannot. I need to tone down all that shimmer in there. And um, I have the one that is, what's the shade? I think it's like fair medium, fair to medium. And I'm gonna go in with that like bronzy shade. 
and I gotta blend my crease. I, I cannot, I feel like it's too shiny. Okay, I'm, I'm done. I'm done messing with the eyes. Um, let's go ahead and bronze. I'm gonna use this thing again for bronze or contour, whatever the word is. Um, I have this Real Techniques uh, cheek brush I've never used before, but looks like a perfect, nice contour bronzer brush. I'm gonna dip into that Shh. contour shade and okay, here we go. Now, let's see. For blushes, I have a couple options, actually. I have three different shades um, of her blushes. I have Ecstasy, I have Love Glow, and I have Pillow Talk. But I'm going to stick to like what came in the kit, which was Love Glow. Um, so I'm going to stick to this guy. I'm going to use an e.l.f. angled blush brush. I've used this before, and it's clean now. So I'm gonna use this guy's like swish and pop. You're supposed to swish it and put the pop in the like high cheeks, but we're just gonna swish it all around. And we're gonna blush. And the last thing, well, not the last thing. I'm gonna go in with that highlighter. It's very subtle, I know that, so I'm gonna use a scratchy brush, <laughs> and this is e.l.f. highlighting brush. The lip products that I have from her, I have, well, four things only. I have the Lip Cheat Reshape and Resize Lip Liner, and this is the guy in Pillow Talk. Um, I think what I'm gonna do though, I, I, I do wanna use this, but lips that she has on here, they're not nude, and I don't wanna go with nude. I do have two lipsticks from her. One is this, um, like, super pink. Um, maybe I go very lightly with this guy and then we'll use the lip gloss over it because the other lip option is this bitch perfect and this guy is too nude and I don't want to wear nude today hmm. let's go ahead and get started with the lip liner let me do the lip liner real quick Okay, lined and filled my lips with the lip liner. do like it. It's that sharpening, that twist up lip liner. So I do like that because it's not going to dry on, dry out on me too fast. Let me stick with the nude lipstick and then I'll top it with that red lip gloss. And then the lip gloss that I do have... What is it called? This this is called Lip Luster Lux Color Lasting Lip Lacquer. A long name and the shade is Candy Darling. I thought it was going to be like this uh, really sticky lip color, but it's not. And now let's do mascara. Um, this is going to be my first time trying her mascaras and um, no, it's kind of like a lot of people either love it or a lot of people hate it. I like a mascara that gives me like really spidery lashes. So we'll see if I'm going to like this one. Um, and it is the five star mascara, full flat lashes, curl separate, volume, length, and drama. And the one that I have is the shade Glossy Black. All right, my friends, I went ahead and I applied the mascara. It took maybe like six or seven coats and it's still not how I'd like my lashes to look. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's not my favorite, honestly, so far. And um, maybe it needs to dry out a little bit or something, but it's definitely not my favorite. Let's talk about the whole thing, the whole experience. I did like the primer. I did, mm, I have a hair. 
I did like the primer. I like that it was glowy. The foundation went on nicely. You will have to see how it looks. Um, the downfalls. The eyeshadow palette for sure. I did not like that at all. It's um, the whole like no matte shade and I feel like I just look too punched in the eye kind of thing because um, it's so shiny on the eyes but it's okay I was able to make it work I did not like the mascara at all um, the concealer I guess if I had a little bit of a lighter shade I would have had a better opinion on it um, I don't know how it's gonna wear throughout the day I do love the blushes I love the lip liner was pretty good um, everything else was pretty good but the mascara and the eyeshadow palette mm, not so good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It definitely was a little bit kind of weird. Um, maybe because it's first impressions for a lot of these products for me. Uh, if you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you enjoyed, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. And let me know in the comments below what do you think? How did everything turn out? Um, did you enjoy it? Did you enjoy this video? Um, any comments or anything like that, leave them in the comment section below. Again, give this video a like. It really helps out my channel. Maybe I'll become famous and Charlotte Tilbury will send me the magic cream. Maybe get me on her PR so I don't have to spend all of my money on it. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? And then I'll have giveaways. Yay! Alright, you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye! Bye!